Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm sorry I missed you last Thursday. Coronavirus finally caught up with me and I was out of commission, but we're back. I'm feeling great, back to 100% health. And obviously we're out on the water and we're gonna be doing some fishing today. So, what we're gonna be taking a look at is a new product that I've recently found and bought. This is the Queen Tackle Live Sonar Tungsten Jig Head. With forward-facing sonar, we're seeing more and more products advertised specifically for live scope or your active target or mega live whichever one you have when i saw this i had to pick it up just to see if it was you know maybe a gimmick or if it's actually legit and it does show up better on the live scope so i'm going to be comparing this to the owner roundhead it's also half ounce three yacht both of these are identical we're going to be throwing both of these around with no baits at all just to see how it shows up and then i'll rig it up with a kai tech and i'll show you guys my forward facing sonar and show you exactly what i'm looking at we're going to be comparing these two today my guess is that the tungsten jig head is going to show up better on the forward facing sonar for the simple fact that even with your 2d or down scan side imaging even your forward facing sonar when you're going down a bank and say you're going over like a mud flat or a soft bottom, your return's not gonna be very hard. But if you get into like a rocky bottom area, that return is gonna be significantly harder and brighter. And that's where I think they're going with this tungsten jig head. Obviously tungsten as a material compared to lead is significantly harder. However, it's also smaller. So I don't know if the density of it is gonna make that much of a difference when it comes down to being a smaller head but I'm gonna tie both of these up and we'll see what it looks like on the live scope. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below what your guess is whether this live sonar jig is gonna show up better than the lead or just about the same. Let me know right now before this test starts. All right, so I've got both of these jig heads right here. I've got the owner round head and the Queen's Tackle live sonar jig head. So at a first glance, I can definitely say that the Queen's Tackle jig head looks very high quality regardless. So even if it doesn't show up any better than the owner, on the live scope, I can attest to it being very high quality. I love this style of keeper. I call it a staple. Obviously hand tied with some braid right there and it looks like they glued over it as well. So we'll test the durability of this today, but overall I really do like this keeper. And same goes with the owner. They have this giant piece of lead that comes up and that definitely holds whatever swim bait you're throwing. The only problem that I have with this is if I want to throw like a 3.3, Sometimes it's almost just like a little bit too much and I think that that's where this staple style bait keeper will work a lot better. I'm gonna rig both of these up on the same rod, same line. It, they're seven three medium heavies with 15 pound fluorocarbon. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we're gonna throw both of these around just by themselves, just the jig heads. So one thing I did forget to mention earlier, the queen tackle tungsten jig heads are nine bucks for two for the half ounce three out and the owners are five bucks for four all right let's get to it shall we so first test right here we'll start with the lead jig head so this is the owner half ounce three out my live scope that you guys are watching back there on that camera is exactly what i have set up here normally i'm keeping my range from 80 to 100 feet but just for this test, we're gonna keep that range shorter so we can get a better look at the jig. Okay, there's the lead head out all the way out there, showing up pretty darn good. See right there, it's at 24. There's a fish chasing this bare lead. This is the owner lead jig head right now. So that looks pretty darn good. I mean, it's showing up pretty good. <laughs> Owner jig head, take two. All right, it's out there. Thing is shining bright. Owner lead jig head. gonna let this jig head sit right in front of the boat so it's right at it's zero feet all right so that's the owner jig head right there it's slightly underneath the boat you can see it there 10 feet owner jig head all right now 
we're gonna test queen tackle. Queen's tackle tungsten jig head, take one. Well, I can... <laughs> Interesting, okay. Uh, it looks like it definitely has a harder return. You can see it just looks more dense than the other one. The owner jig head almost had like a fuzz around the head where this one just looks more solid. It... Hmm. It's smaller and more dense, so it does pop a little bit more, but I will say that it is coming up smaller on the screen. I almost think the owner was showing up a little bit better than this. There's a fish chasing this jig head right now. Are you kidding me? If this fish eats that jig head, I'm gonna be so confused. Bear jig head, <laughs> I spooked him. That's crazy. All right, that's the queen tackle jig sitting right under the boat. I'm just gonna let it sit there, right at that 10 foot range. Try to get it right in the middle of the cone. All right, right at 10 feet, just a little bit under the boat. That's the queen's tackle jig head right there. And now looking back, having it here right under the boat, you can see that that thing really pops compared to the owner. Like, it's just a solid, bright little dot. I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm actually pretty surprised with how this is going so far. I thought that the tungsten jig head was going to have a lot more pop to it. It might be that the lead going down the shank of the hook on the owner helps it give it a little bit more of that pop, but so far, at least with my eyes looking at the graph up front, it seems like the owner is somewhat outshining the tungsten, if you will. But we're gonna cover up that lead on the shank with the owner with these baits, and we're gonna see if it makes any difference here. So real quick, normally when I'm throwing these half ounce jig heads, or any jig head for that matter, I'm going with a bait that's between like a 2.8 and a 4.8 inch Kitex. So I think I'm gonna throw a 3.3 on both of these jig heads and we're just gonna go from there. This water that I'm fishing is extremely clear and I feel like throwing a smaller, more natural bait will probably get me bit a little bit more, but honestly, I did have four or five fish chasing these bare jig heads around, which is kind of funny, but we'll see if adding a bait to it helps them eat. All right, so we've got these baits rigged up on the jig heads now. We've got the range set to 80 and we're gonna look at how these two compare. So this is the owner jig head. Gonna give this one a cast first. We're gonna see how it shows up on the graph. Here we go. I'm gonna keep this one right in the middle of the water column. So there it is. I got a fish right under it now. Is it chasing it? Nope. They like it with no swim bait. All right, so owner jig head coming through right here. It's 40 feet coming in. Pretty good return. I can see that. I'm happy with it. It is kind of funny how once you cover up the rest of the lead on the shank, it's almost harder to see. It's kind of interesting. All right, here we go again. 60 feet, that's where I've got that bait. So this is the owner jig head coming in. It looks pretty good. I definitely feel like it's not as solid as it was when the bait was off. Tungsten jig head, 3.3 inch Kai Tech, 80 feet of range, here we go. Right there at 65. Looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Like there's can't really complain about it. Hmm. It 
see if the fish wants the tungsten instead. All right, let's get another long cast with the tungsten jig head and the bait. All the way at 60 feet. Right by fish. So there's that tungsten. I'm gonna move the trolling motor around a little bit just so you can see it's right in the middle of the cone giving us the best picture possible is right there. So that's that tungsten jig head. 10 feet, 5 feet. Alright, it's out there at 65. Right in the middle. I'm just going to bring this one back slow and steady. 12 feet down. It definitely looks good. It's a hard return. I can see it. I would say no complaints with it showing up it definitely does show up I'm gonna go for the double rig so I can get both of them together try to at least all right there's both of them out there So the one up on top is the owner, the one down below is the tungsten. It's the owner on top, tungsten on the bottom. I've got it right there like 10 feet out in front of the boat. Just gotta let him sit there. What do you guys think? I think the owner. Personally, I think that the owner looks better on the screen. Maybe it's just my eyes right now on the screen. Like if I go back and review the footage, it might show that this really does look a little bit better. But from my standpoint at this moment, I would say don't spend the extra money on the live sonar marketing just because it seems extremely equivalent. You get twice as many jig heads fishing the owner ball head. Personally, I think that it shows up a little bit better on the graph, but I definitely feel like I gave both of these baits a fair shot and they both showed up on the graph perfectly fine. Like, I don't think this was bad at all. And also I'm not at all knocking the build of this jig head. I mean, it's very, very high quality. It's tungsten, obviously, so that's why it's gonna be a little bit more expensive, but the hook looks really nice. And actually, I prefer the bait keeper on the Queen's Tackle Jig opposed to the owner. And overall, you can tell that the quality of this is definitely there. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If there's anything else that you can think off the top of your head that you'd like to see me compare, let me know down in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on Angler's Choices YouTube channel. We'll see you guys on the next one.